everyone. I hope you guys are all having a great week. Welcome to my channel. My name is Molly. I'm the Happy Soul Coach. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. We are like a family here. Uh, those of you who have been following me for a while may notice that I sound a little nasally tonight. I am a little bit under the weather, um, but I sound worse than I feel. So Spirit wanted me to come on and do a karmic extended reading tonight for you guys. Super excited to see what's going on in the Twin Flame Collective. Um, so in this reading, I'm going to find out who the Divine Masculine is, who the Divine Feminine is, who the karmic is, what's the situation surrounding that. And then um, over on the extended, we'll find out, we'll dig a little bit deeper. We'll find out about union. We'll find out what the Divine Feminine needs to be doing, uh, what's blocking union, channeled messages from the DM. Uh, so we'll find all of those things out over on the extended reading. So if you do feel like this is resonating with you, you guys can click on that link and it'll take you over to Vimeo. It's $4.44 to watch the extended reading. Thank you guys to everybody who sent me decks. I have all these cool new decks. Um, I appreciate it so much. I love using them on the channel. I love using them for my readings. You guys are amazing. Uh, my Amazon wish list is below. And thank you to everybody who's donated to the channel. That's how I buy crystals and flowers and uh, candles. So you guys are absolutely amazing. If you feel this video is resonating with you, um, please leave me a comment below. Like the video. Leave me a comment. I love to read through all of your comments. I don't have time to respond to everybody, but I do try to get through as many as I can. Uh, if you guys want to book a personal reading, I am available. Um, I am going to be opening up a few more spots uh, this week um, that normally wouldn't be open. Um, I freed up some time in my schedule, so if you guys want to book something, I would suggest jumping on it because I book up really, really fast. All that information is below. You can book directly on my website. Tomorrow night, Friday, September 11th uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing a live group reading. Uh, that's where we have a limited number of um, people join and I will actually pull cards for you. We can talk about your situation. You can ask a couple of questions and I will read for you in a group setting. The energy is always so awesome on these group readings, you guys, and um, it's a lot cheaper than my <laughs> personal reading. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, it's $55. That link's gonna also be below. If you do end up missing uh, the live, that's okay. I will record your reading to you and send it to you, and I will also re send you the um, recorded uh, meeting as well. So you can kind of see the group energy. Um, and a lot of times I do answer questions. It's a little bit of coaching. So if you guys are interested in that, again, it's $55. That link is below. It's tomorrow night. So, so, so excited. Spots are limited, guys, so make sure you sign up um, as soon as you can, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started, all right? Let's find out um, who our divine masculine is, who our divine feminine is, what is going on with the karmic situation. So I just want to call in my spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, five and above. Please let me be a clear channel for the collective today. Please guide us to the answers that we need to know regarding the karmic situation. This card really wanted to come out. Wow, high priestess. Um, I feel like, again, the high priestess can represent different things, but the high priestess in this situation, because we're talking about a karmic, there are secrets being exposed, okay? If your karmics have been lying to your divine masculine, I'm telling you, it's coming out. It's coming out, okay? Let's find out what else. All right, we're going to just find out what the energy is. Yeah, ten of pentacles, wow, and the ace of pentacles. This is... An offer coming in. Okay, Four of Swords. All right, the secrets are being exposed. Okay, this is interesting. So the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles represent marriage. So I have a feeling what's going on here is that... Yeah, okay, so uh, they just said split. All right, so there is a secret that's coming out. Okay, that's really interesting. Um, there's a secret that's coming out in regards to the karmic situation that is going to break up a marriage, okay? I'm telling you it's marriage. So if you're, if you're um, divine masculine, divine feminine, doesn't matter, uh, whichever one you're watching for, isn't married, this may not be the reading for you. See what else resonates with you, but I'm seeing this is very much a married karmic to the DM. And then we've got the Four of Swords here, which is like, this is coming, it's, the Four of Swords means being at rest. So it's like, I feel like it's finally being put to rest. Okay. 
Holy moly. All right, what's going on with this Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles, please? Yeah, failure. It's the failure of the marriage. I mean, look at this. Seven of Pentacles on this card is failure. And look at, now we've got the Ten of Cups and the Temperance card. Healing and moving towards a happier relationship, which is with the DF, which is the Ten of Cups here. Whoa, and so the Ten of Cups to me also represents marriage. Okay, so again, the fact that I've got all these marriage cards that right out here is saying, I mean, it's like spirit is like screaming. It's they're splitting up, they're splitting up, they're splitting up. I wasn't even expecting to do the energy first. Usually I find out who the divine masculine is, who the divine feminine is, but holy moly crap and holy. <laughs> Woo! All right, guys. Let's find out who the divine masculine is. What is his energy? Okay, three of pentacles, four of cups. Um, the ten of cups, guys. Oh my God. Okay, so Ten of Cups came out right underneath the Ten of Cups here. He wants a happy family life, but he is not getting it right now with this karmic situation. Let's get one more and then I'm going to clarify. Yeah, Nine of Wands. There's been a lot of wounding in this karmic situation. He's been thinking a lot. Four of Cups. He's been in his head like thinking, how am I going to work this out? Or not work it out, right? It's like work it out to the best advantage for the DM, you know, ending the karmic situation so that he can get to his Ten of Cups, which is with the DF. By the way, guys, I saw the most beautiful rainbow this morning and they were showing me the rainbow on the Ten of Cups. So I'm telling you, there are really good things coming. I mean, the most beautiful rainbow. And it was so funny because my son actually spotted it in the car. I mean, it was, and I wish that I would have been able to take a picture, but it was behind me. It was the most beautiful rainbow I have ever seen. And it was so funny because the sky was black behind it. And then there's this bright, beautiful, I mean, so vivid. The colors were unbelievable. And I remember saying to my son, I'm like, oh my gosh, Jake, there's so many good things coming. You see that rainbow is coming out of the darkness. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that that's been very much a theme, that the Divine Masculines are coming out of the darkness. I see this DM is also coming out of the darkness. What is the three of pentacles about? The tower. Oh my God. Oh my God. OMG. I'm telling you. So the three of pentacles represents work. It represents partnership, um, but it can also represent a third party situation. Okay. So again, when I said he's working on ending it, we've got the tower here. I mean, what? That tower moment. Okay, guys, uh, Spirit is saying, I don't know if you're, if this karmic has sort of had this spell over him. They were saying spell. Um, this may be somebody that, that really, uh, you know, maybe even practices black magic. I don't know, but this is, this is a very, um, they're saying devious. It's a very devious karmic situation, okay? It's wounded your masculine. It's wounded him, but he's been, he's been thinking about it a lot. He's been thinking about it, right? And it's funny because I feel like spirit has been like, here's the solution, but he hasn't been able to make a decision, right? But this tower moment's happening now and he's moving forward and this is coming to an end. All right. Where's our divine feminine at? Yeah. Six of swords moving into smoother waters. The judgment card, the two of swords. She's okay. She's been wondering if she should move on. She's been wondering if she should move on. Six of Swords, Judgment card, and the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is being at a crossroads, right? Like, I don't know which direction to go. Oh, and the Magician. I keep getting the Magician for the Divine Feminine, right? Because she's really, she's manifesting so many things right now. And perhaps she's even manifested this situation, right? Because she's like, well, maybe I'll just move forward. And it is so funny, and I tell everybody this. The moment that you start to move forward and living your life for you and not worrying so much about your divine masculine and what they're doing and what the karmic's doing and all this stuff. And as soon as you start to move forward, guess what? That's when spirit steps in and they're like, okay, it's time. She's ready. They're saying trust in the magic, okay? And even if you've started to move forward, it doesn't mean that you've moved on, right? I mean, do we ever really move on from our twin flame? You can move forward 100% and leave space in your heart for them 
And I feel like this is what this divine feminine is doing. She's like not attaching herself to this outcome. And spirits rewarding her for that. And again, I'm telling you, these divine masculines are waking up right now. They're waking up. All right, tell us a little bit about the karmic. And I just looked at the clock and it was 10-10. Oh my God. The karmic, first card out, the death card, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. The temperance card. I mean, can I, <laughs> I can't even make this up. The five of cups, disappointment and sadness and the king of cups. All right. <laughs> the first card out is the death card. I can't even, I can't even. Okay. I see how excited, I get so excited because it's like, I know so many of you are in karmic situations that have been like dragging out for so long and it's like, it's finally here. Okay. Um, all right. What's the temperance card about, please, spirit? Temperance is, yeah, the fool and the king of swords. Okay. So I feel like <clears throat> the king of swords is somebody that speaks their truth, right? And then we also have the king of cups here, which is emotions. So I feel like the, I feel like the divine masculine is actually stepping up and speaking the truth right now to the karmic, right? This is part of his healing. So it's almost like the karmic was in his life to help him heal this part of himself. And I speak about this a lot as well. Is that, you know, a lot of times these DMs go with these karmics is because those are lessons. Those are soul contracts that we cannot help them heal. Okay, that's, that's what their purpose is. And so I do feel like this is, again... There's definitely, with this karmic, there's a lot of sadness. Uh, this karmic, again, I feel this very dark energy around her, like a depression, um, very emotional, because we have the King of Cups here. The King of Cups is being, in, uh, you know, um, aware of your emotions and being emotionally strong, but I'm feeling it's kind of the opposite energy here paired with the Five of Cups. It's like, I'm just sad. She's just sad. She's dark. She's dreary, right? Holy moly. Okay, guys, if you feel this is resonating with you, we are going to go over on Vimeo. We're going to find out about you and you're going to get channel messages from the DM. Uh, we're going to find out what the blocks are. We're going to find out what happens. When is he coming back? Holy moly. All right. I'll see you guys over on Vimeo.